you guys i am up with uh, one more sum that is question number 8 which is x plus 1 by x is equal to 2.5 see children we have to convert this given equation into the general format so in this case you can see x plus 1 by x on the left hand side here you have one denominator isn't it so whenever we have a denominator we apply the lcm method so as usual let us go ahead with the lcm method what will be the lcm of the left hand side x now x into x is what x square plus x divided by x is what 1 and 1 into 1 is what 1 itself the normal lcm method children nothing new okay which is equal to 2.5 in the next step x square plus 1 is equal to you will cross multiply x with what 2.5 so it becomes 2.5x now in the very next step i will bring this 2.5x from the right side to the left hand side therefore the equation is x square minus 2.5x plus 1 equal to 0 your quadratic equation is ready now children there is a small hindrance over here what is that hindrance the numerical coefficient of x is what 2.5 which is a decimal value and you know that you know it is quite annoying for us to deal with negative values and decimal values in maths so what we will do is in order to make our task look easy we will remove this decimal point from this quadratic equation and it's very simple to remove the decimal point what i need to do i need to multiply this entire equation with 10 isn't it because in 2.5 how many decimal places are there only one decimal place is there so if i have to remove that decimal point i need to multiply that number with what 10 which has one zero okay so it's not possible or it's not permitted to multiply only this 2.5 with 10 if you are multiplying with 10 the entire equation that is the left hand side as well as the right hand side of this equation should be multiplied with what 10 so let me multiply this whole equation with what 10 so 10 into x square 10 x square minus 10 into 2.5 25 so it becomes 25x see the magic the decimal point is removed plus 10 into 1 10 which is equal to 10 into 0 0 is this equation looking quite decent yes now let us write down the values of a b and c so a is equal to 10 b is equal to minus 25 and c is equal to 10 what is the product of a and c 10 into 10 which is equal to 100 now we will take the Middle term that is minus twenty five. Now what is your job to divide this minus twenty five into two parts, where the sum of those two parts should be equal to minus twenty five, and the product of these two parts should be equal to what positive hundred. Very easy. Minus twenty five can be split into minus twenty and minus five. Why? Because Minus twenty plus minus five is what? Minus twenty five and minus twenty into minus five is what? Positive hundred. Yes. So guys, I can write this quadratic equation, which is ten x square minus twenty five x plus ten is equal to zero as ten x square. This minus twenty five is rewritten as minus twenty x minus five x. Plus ten is equal to zero. Now we can group these terms. The first group is ten x square minus twenty x, and the second group is minus five x plus ten. What is common in these two? I think it is ten x. Inside the bracket, I'll get x minus two. And what is common in minus five x plus ten? I think it's minus five. Yes. So inside the bracket, x minus two. Which is equal to what? Zero. Children, again, I am not explaining these things 
again and again because we have already learned it before. If you still have any doubt, just comment me children. I will get back to you on this. I will prepare a separate video to explain how to factorize it. Okay, don't worry, I am here to help you out. Now children, what is common again? X minus 2? Yes. If I take x minus 2 common from these two terms, what is left in the first term? 10x. What is left in the second term? Minus 5. Which is equal to 0. So here, the product of x minus 2 and 10x minus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, I can say either x minus 2 is equal to 0 or 10x minus 5 is equal to 0. So if x minus 2 is 0, it implies x is equal to 2 or if 10x minus 5 is 0, it means 10x is equal to 5. So it implies x is equal to 5 by 10 which is 1 by 2. Again 1 by 2 is a fraction. If you want, you can write there 0 0.5. So which are the two values? 2 and 0 0.5. Hope it is clear. Thank you guys.